Well, it's a beautiful day here on the Big Island, sort of. I've come here for a cup of Mountain Thunder 100% pure Kona coffee. Instead, I've uh, met the Batemans, Brooke and Lisa, and uh, that's Brent and that's Bryce, and this is Trent. What does this have to do with coffee? Mountain Thunder is an organic coffee farm, yeah. and we build our own fertilizer. We've got a seaweed ingredient, a ground up coffee tree, mm -hmm. and cherry skins. Well, cherry skins? Well, we call coffee a uh, cherry in the fruit stage. And these are the skins after the bean has been removed. I see. Now, I don't want to contradict you in any way, but where did this come from? This came from our donkeys. I knew it. Donkey poo. I'd recognize it anywhere. And there were the culprits. Bottom line here is, uh, is it possible for a guy like me to actually get a cup of coffee here? When you get done with work. Decomposing kelp, coffee bean skins, mulch, and donkey poo. It doesn't sound like the ingredients for a cup of coffee. They look like baked beans. The Batemans only fertilize once a year, and I was lucky enough to be here at just the right time. Ah. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I lose a boot. Nothing like a little foo in your boot to get the day off to a good start. Mountain Thunder is only one of a dozen organic coffees produced on the island. They say this compost gives the coffee a richer taste. Oh, it's nice the way the steam comes off of it. It's just, yeah, it's like the moors. Well, Mike, we've got a lot of work to do today. I think we ought to move on to uh, the next process. And that would be? Applying it to the trees. Spreading the poop. With your hands. Well, of course. I mean, what else would we use? 